And welcome back to News Center. Thank you very much for staying with us. We continue right here with our coverage. And uh, at this moment, we want to put uh, into perspective what is happening at the, at the Court of Appeal. I beg your pardon. Uh, yesterday, the hearing began. And of course, today is still another day. Today, we saw James Orengo, who's representing uh, the opposition, NASA. Uh, of course, in that case, uh, about who really is going to be the final announcer, so to speak, of the presidential results. We have Alex Gatsundu here in studio joining me live. He is a lawyer and he's also a political analyst. Thank you very much for joining us, Alex. Okay, thank you again. So let's start from yesterday when this hearing uh, began. IBC was able to put out their case and uh, one of the issues that they raised is that why do you need 290 announcements from you know all the uh, uh, all the all the regions or constituencies, if you like? Uh, that was one of the issues that they are arguing about. First of all, from where you sit, what do you make of that argument? Uh, I think uh, the argument by both sides, mm -hmm. even to start with IBC, mm -hmm. are valid, they are credible, and I believe uh, where they have come from, uh, they must be having genuine, uh, genuine uh, concerns mm -hmm. uh, based on their own structures and systems, uh, electro at that. And uh, for them, maybe in terms of is it convenient for us to say or to, or, or to predicate the final announcement mm -hmm of presidential elections at constituency level or should, that, should the final announcement be done at the national level mm. where the IBC has its own uh, its own starting center. Okay. Now, so they have a credible uh, uh, argument. Equally so, uh, NASA has a also credible concern and they have their own uh, strength in terms of uh, that they are the one who won the high court case. Mm from where the appeal has arisen. So both sides have credible arguments. What is most important is that the, the court is going to look, to go to listen to both sides mm -hmm. and analyze the law that is applicable, the, that's what we call uh, jurisprudence. And then from the rival arguments of both parties and granted the interest of the country and in, in, in order to ensure that the, we sustain the credibility of our electoral process, mm -hmm. The court will come up with a, a, a good judgment of the appeal, right. and, uh, and accordingly, it will direct where the, the, the electoral process should head on that particular issue. Mm. So as far as I'm concerned, I think uh, IEBC has a credible argument. Even NASA has also a credible, credible mm -hmm. argument. Mm -hmm. Yes. Interesting. Uh, mm. So one of the issues really is uh, that word, and we're speaking about it before, uh, you know, before we came back. Mm -hmm. The word that, you know, the, the, the thing that the Constitution does not really talk about a final, a finality into who mm. says, says what. IBC feels that uh, the results that come from the Constitution constituency level are provisional mm. but that's why people have a problem with the critics are saying mm. what should uh, what mandate uh, can IBC have to either alter or you know change the results to make them final if they come uh, from the constituency level as provisional whatever is if I you know I'm in a constituency Mwingi South where I come from yes. you have 300 votes for this person another one I mean that is what I've been able to to to, to get as a returning officer that's the truth from the ground so why does it have to mm. sort of of like you know, be wishy-washy until it gets to the IBC. Okay, well, we are in both hearts as a voter and also as an advocate. Yeah. I can tell you, as an advocate, that uh, the word final is not. We're not going to, into the merit of the appeal because uh, that would be subjudice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the word final is not found in the constitution. Okay. L let's start from there. That's so. Uh, that's very bottom line. The word final is not found in the constitution. It, it may have uh, found its way. Uh, in other ways, in other arenas, mm -hmm. in other forums, but certainly it is not in the constitution. That is the, 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 the first. Now, wearing my other hat as a, as a voter, mm -hmm. for me, what matters, uh, Betty, is that the principles of electoral system mm -hmm. that have been set out in Article 81, which is predicated on Article, the right to, the, the right to, 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 to play politics or participate in politics, mm -hmm. that is Article 38. Mm -hmm. Is all what matters. Mm -hmm. So long as our electoral system satisfies those principles about the, the election process or system, must be transparent, free, right. fair. It must be free from intimidation, bribe. Right. Bye -bye. It must be based on uh, universal suffrage. That is one person yes. or, or, or one one vote. It must be transparent. All those ethos or principles. So long as in, so long as they are followed, I wouldn't I wouldn't care as a voter whether you decide that. Uh, 
the, the finality of the announcement be made at constituency level or at uh, national level. But having said that, as a voter, I also have another concern. Mm. And again, I'm guarding myself uh, from going into the merit of, of the case. Betty, supposing you're saying you come from Mwigi South. Mm. Supposing the returning officer of Mwigi South makes a mistake, a genuine mistake, we are human beings. In regards to announcing. Yes, in announcing. Uh -huh. And uh, I have, personally, I have a video of, of a constituency in Rift where that, a mistake was made. You announced the wrong results. You have the papers in front of you, mm -hmm. but when it comes to announcement, you announce the wrong results. Instead of uh, s saying 11,000, you state 51,000. But the paper in front of you shows uh, and reads 11,000. Remember, you have already announced. All the cameras are there. Members of the public are there. The voters of the rival uh, parties are there. Yeah. And these are presidential results. Yeah. So the moment you announce to the press and to the public 51,000, remember the argument is that that is supposed to be final. That because that is the announcement. Do you remember that is the announcement? It matters little else whether the document that you have show otherwise. But so long as you made that announcement and it has been captured and it has been relayed to the public and we are technically saying that that is the final announcement, then an issue arises. What if as it happened in that, uh, I think it's called Atiati. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that was Atiati, easy. yes. Yes, yes. What if one of your clerks brings to your attention there and then, or one of the agents, that uh, Mr. Gatundu, you have made a mistake, mm -hmm. sir. Uh, this is supposed to be 11,000, not 51,000, as you have announced. You have announced 51,000 instead of uh, 11,000. What happens? If you have said that that announcement that the arrow had made is final, it means he can also is also final as to himself and the rest of the but, world. I mean, but it means he can't correct. It means he first he can't correct it on site because if he corrects, it it means that you are abrogating that finality. But okay. Uh, Interesting, <laughs> interesting perspective there. But mm -hmm. of course, you have the document that has, you know, the numbers. And honestly, to humanist error, yes. as much as the arrow can make a mistake, it's mm -hmm. the same thing that Chebukati finally can make a mistake and say this instead of that. It, it can happen to it because they're saying mm -hmm. human is to error. Mm -hmm. But the other thing to look at is mm -hmm. that these ROs are not, they're not coming from, you know, another planet. They're coming, they're actually, you know, put there by the IEBC. True. So they have been entrusted already mm -hmm. to carry out this process at that low level. Mm -hmm. So what are we saying? Don't we have, uh, you know, trust or faith that these people actually have the expertise or, you know, the skills required to actually carry out? And especially at this time, I don't think anybody would make such a mistake. It's, everything is really high stakes. Mm -hmm. So is that argument substantial enough to have this thing go the IEBC way? I did the same argument on uh, having faith or having, having no faith and, uh, and trust and confidence in the or with the returning officer yeah. can also be used <laughs> in relation to Shebukati himself. And that's exactly what I'm you saying. See. So in as much as human is to error, and we all admit that uh, the arrows can make mistakes. That, that, that's granted. They have made that. They have made, they have made mistakes mm. and genuineness at, at that. If they are prone to making mistakes by virtue of them being human beings, like you and I, the question that the, the country should be asking itself is this. What do we do with the errors that have been made at constituency level? Can they be rectified mm -hmm. at another higher level, mm -hmm. at the third national level? Even after the announcement has been made? Yes, because, because you see, you see let, let's uh, go back to the example of TRT uh, constituency. Right. Supposing that clerk or that uh, officer, junior officer, who brought to the attention of the returning officer that you have made a mistake, mm -hmm. supposing he himself had not noted the mistake. But upon reading the information and right. data, electronically or otherwise, to uh, bombers of Kenya, mm -hmm. Chibukati and his uh, people realize the mistake. What are they supposed to do? And supposing it is the only mistake in the entire country. <laughs> are they supposed to wait for whoever is the victim of that particular anomaly or anomalous announcement to go to to Supreme Court mm -hmm. and contest that particular election 
that that is the question that we should be grappling with. I right. don't want to take sides because uh, the matter is light in court, but that is what uh, we as voters should be asking ourselves. What should happen then? Or, should we right. If there's something that can be can be rectified, can it is should we? rectify it then at, 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 at a point without having to escalate the issue mm. to the court. Because remember, the moment you escalate uh, an, a presidential election uh, to court, then that also becomes an issue of, uh, of, of uh, security. Right. Yes. Uh, the tension is high, the anxieties are high, and that is even why when we were crafting the, the constitution at uh, BOMAS, at other av avenues of negotiation like Naivasha, we were very strict as Kenyans mm -hmm. to ensure that all election disputes pertaining to presidential election had to have timelines because, mm -hmm. of, because of who we, we uh, as Kenyans are. Exactly, the anxiety and the exactly. tension that comes around and, and for us, the process. For us, presidential election is a matter of life and death. Unlike other countries, <laughs> in Kenya, presidential election is a matter of life and right. death. So that's why we had to set seven days within which you are supposed to file the petition mm -hmm. and 14 days within which the petition is supposed to be hand finalized and, uh, 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 and the judgment read by the, okay. by the Supreme Court. Okay. Uh, the Supreme Court, yes. All right, so Alex, let me ask. Yes. For us to avoid or prevent the situation like we had uh, mm. when Kivuitu, the late Kivuitu was you know, in office, and remember he brought this phrase of, you know, people are cooking results. Yes. What is the best way forward? Is it the IBC way or is it what um, already is uh, the ruling by the High Court? Mm. Whereby already we are having, you know, NASA and Jubilee saying that they will have their own, you know, tiling centers. Mm. Have these results uh, announced at uh, the polling, the constituency level. And then everybody can follow through with, okay, this constituency had this much. Mm. So as to avoid all this, you know, someone has switched off their phone, we cannot get uh, to them. Which is the best way then? Looking at it from a very objective point of view. Uh, Objective, indeed. Eh? I can tell you this, and I think I've already answered that question, but uh, maybe I did not uh, canalize it mm -hmm. along the, 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 the way you have uh, put your question. Mm -hmm. You see, if you follow the principles of election system as, uh, uh, as set out in the Constitution... Right. Free, fair... Yes, or, yes and they're, suppo they're supposed to be credible. Yes. They're, with no bribery, no intimidation, mm. no influ undue influence on, 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 upon voters. If you follow those principles mm -hmm. uh, set out in, uh, in Article 81 of the, of the Constitution, trust me, you won't have to, 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 to bother about uh, this, uh, all these issues that, we, that are... Like, remember, you have, first and foremost, we have an institution, an elect electoral body called IEBC. Mm. IEBC has been set up by the Constitution. If we do not have faith, confidence and trust in it, no matter, no matter what arguments that we come up with, it will it, all be in vain. We must have faith, confidence and trust in IEBC, that they have capacity, they have the will, they are ready, and they will deliver upon the, 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 the conduct of elections, upon the principles of election system are set out in the Constitution Article uh, 81, mm -hmm. which is predicated on, uh, on Article 8 of the mm -hmm. Constitution, which uh, uh, preserves or protects the right to political, to, to, to be engaged in politics. All right. Yes, like the right to vote, the right to participate mm. in uh, election as, uh, as a candidate. And that it's, is it's, the ideal situation. You're talking about an ideal situation, mm -hmm. but we've so not coming, had an ideal coming situation on the ground, before. Coming on the ground, uh, Betty. Yeah. Um, and that is why I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the twist, uh, the Shakespearean twist on, 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 on the issue of uh, having parallel charging mm. centers. centers. Uh, and uh, remember, even uh, I read uh, over, the, I think over the weekend or, or, or yesterday mm -hmm. that uh, even Jubilee said that they yes. will also set up their own. Right. Uh, but, uh, this is not a new thing. thing. Tiny centers are there. They have been there. Uhuru had one in, in 2013. Uh, I also believe that uh, Raja had his uh, whatever form it took, but uh, they, they had some guys in telling results and following up on these issues yeah. and also calling. From, 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 from all over. Uh, whether that is uh, in an organized uh, setup or uh, disjointed setups, uh, it's still a tiling system. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can, if, at this, this is where the, the experience twist comes in. Mm -hmm. For example, if, if you are NASA candidate in your stronghold, mm -hmm. let's say border, then in a particular constituency, the arrow makes a mistake in announcing the results. Mm -hmm. Let's say he announces uh, that 1,000, but from your own data, on site, mm -hmm. in situ, mm -hmm. in Latin. Mm. 
he was supposed to announce that 8,000, not that 1,000. Not 31,000. So what do you do? Remember, both, both parties have said, ours will be to today and announce the results as we perceive them to be correct. So what is, uh, what, what is ODM going to do? That particular mm -hmm. candidate, mm -hmm. they are going to announce that 8,000, not that 1,000 that RO has. Had, annu had announced. You see, now you see, you see the, 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 the twist. Remember, this is uh, the, 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 the finality of, of, of announcement of results at Kausikian level is a double-edged sword. It can and will cut both ways, so long as the sword is delving into the flesh. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, it, 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 will, it will definitely cut. Let us not come up with the situations or rules or regulations uh, for momentary purposes mm. uh, to, to satisfy our, our, our personal whims or fears. All right. Let us come up with the new regulations and, uh, and the systems that are, uh, that are, that are post <coughs> posterity. Mm. Yes. Alex, I'll, I'll, yeah. um, I'm coming back to you in a few minutes, but mm. as I come back to you, I want, to, I want you to talk to us about the best possible outcomes, because obviously <laughs> then it looks like we, it's, you know, it's sort of like a quagmire, even mm. maybe for the Court of Appeal, if mm. you look at all these issues we've been discussing. So mm. what really would be the best possible outcome mm. in which we'll not see mm. you know, either IBC or you know, any 